It did not go as planned. See, the Bastion's ulting for Albany right now, which is kind of kind of useless. I'm gonna be honest, in my in my opinion. Albany sitting at two ults currently, while the Wasp crew sits at zero. But we almost do have that Symmetra wall, which will be big here. And Beard, as you can see, is at 50% to shatter. He's known for building those up fairly quickly. I like this. I like this rotation, the speed boost. Alshmitty takes down the, the Orisa for Albany. It's looking like this is coming to an end. As Beard here is just pushing up, creating space as a tank does. And it's looking good. It's looking clean. The Wasp crew goes up 1-0. In the first game of the season. Alright, it's me. Good job for the Wasps right there. As you can hear, they're very happy about that. Um, <laughs> the door is not shut, as you can see. However, we're just going to keep going. Hopefully this momentum carries. They really need to continue this positive energy throughout this game and throughout the season because it goes a long way trust it really does so i want to thank you guys for tuning in so far i think we're going to go to a quick break uh while the enemy team chooses the next maps and we get things situated we'll be right back
Okay, uh, Aaron and myself are back. We're watching Emery's uh, second match here against uh, West Point. So they did lose that first one, but hey, like like I said in that first uh, the first match, like our guys have came back. So I don't think that we're worried about it. Yeah, these guys are not worried at all. We come back from we can be rough sleep, and I believe the reason we lost that match it was so enclosed, and that Reinhardt was able to play off of that. And right now we're about to go on a very open map on a push map. So I think this will be a very bit different. The only part, yeah. the only part that we might have trouble in is this one first point here because the Reinhardt can play at this point. But that's when we're attacking, yeah. we're pushing. I mean, that's when we're uh, attacking. Yeah, right now we're defending, and I think I think we do pretty good on this map. Our yeah, guys, yeah. The... Oh, go ahead, Aaron. All our guys gotta do is hit our, hit their shots, and we got this. Yeah, dude. And like you were saying, this first point and the end are the hardest points on this map. So it's it's all about this. How fast can you really take this first one? Is like pretty reliant on this game. But our guys are defending, so. All right, guys, we are back. As you can see, we're going to King's Row next. So it's looking like the Emory and Henry squad are requesting to defend, which I think is probably the best idea here. They played that really well, and they're going to run hopefully the same, the same comp here. So. Let's, let's do it. I think they're all getting settled here. We should be in shortly. We're gonna see some R's come down in the bottom left. Hopefully everybody's ready. I hear them clapping, they're getting hype. After that round one dub, I like it. All right, there's your R's, we're getting in. Good luck, wasps. Oh. Yes, also guys, if you are unaware, my name is Colin. I'm a part of the esports team here at Emory. Pretty experienced in Overwatch, you know, a little bit. I'm sitting out this season, but I'm glad I can still participate in some way. Look at this production. Machines have no rights. In a few seconds, we'll see what the teams are going to start running. Yeah, it's looking like the same comp for the Emory and Henry squad. And it's looking like Albany is going to run pretty similar comp, you know, with what they had, except they're going to run a Reaper and a Rhine. And hopefully we can see Beard dominate on the Rhine and diff him to death. So... I like Beard's Reinhardt a lot. He's, he's been improving, ex uh, extremely improving over the summer. So it's been showing, as you guys saw last round. So let's see how he performs in this Reinhardt 1v1 pretty much against a Reaper and a Bastion. You see uh, Al Schmidt taking that high ground there. Alright, Beard having to take a little bit of cover. Going around through the hotel, back to point. Nice rotations, clean rotations. It's just a poke game, poke game right now. Just waiting for first pick. Beard's hitting these fire strikes like they're nothing. Just a patient, patient game. However, we did lose our Symmetra. But I trust, I trust the Emory and Henry squad that they can, they can win a 4v5 here. However, Beard is getting torn to bits at 20 health. It's taken down. However, Al Schmidt does make the trade right there, which is extremely important. So does Katakuna, and it's looking good. It's looking good. We're pretty even right now. Let's see if Emory and Henry can 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they got that. They're clean with it, ladies and gentlemen. And as you see, Tixrel does have the, the window. Great ult charge coming from Tix already. Just in a few sh of just in a, in a short minute, Tix already has that that window. Hopefully, we can see a good combo come out here. Tix new to the Baptiste uh, recently, first time playing support, I believe, for the Emerald Henry squad. And we see some ults coming out. We see the wall. We see the window. So many ults. So many ults. Here comes the window from Tix. Perfectly timed. I love how they waited that out there. And it's looking good. Alshamidi doing what he does best. Getting those picks. That's my MVP. Taken down completely. Obliterated. Goodbye. Goodbye. Emery and Henry, if you see in your top left, still have two alts here. However, Albany does have three, so let's see pretty much who can use them better. Whose ult game is better? I know Beard knows how to hit fat shatters, so especially with Alshmitty just mowing down the shield, he should be able to. And the immortality comes out for Albany for some reason. Oh, that's no good. Misplaced the shield timing right there. Gets taken down. But that's two ults down. Actually, they did use the sound barrier too. Albany did. Used three ults right there. So, according to theory, we should have this. At this choke, forward up. And a shatter comes out from Beard. And it's just clean up. It's fat. Alright. Alright, here comes the the tank ult from Bastion from all Schmitty. And we have to use the beat there. Beard was getting awfully low, but it paid off. Beard MTD. You know how he does, you know how he does. We did use three ults there from the uh the Emery crew. I feel like they could have Probably won that with two. I think the sound barrier was perfectly placed there. As well as the, the window was pretty good as well. But your window is really important. Especially in a choke like this. The window is super important. So maybe if they waited for that window to do now. That would have been good. But we do have that wall from Symmetra. And here it comes. No picks, no picks from the enemy bastion. Just what we like to see. We're just waiting it out. Beard is very close to another shatter here. Shatter comes out from Albany, taking down four. It gets taken down, traded. Perfect. It's what we like to see. It's just squishies. Let's get in there. Get in there, Emery crew. Yes, sir, Beard. Yes, sir. However, he has to be careful. That is a Bastion. Now we just build that ult charge for our BAP. Perfect. Now we have window here. And three ults for the Emery crew. They built those same three ults in one fight. Alright, the Shatter comes out from Beard. Knocks him down. Knocks him down. Kill that immortality field. Window perfectly placed. Love to see that. Ticks with the save on to Alshmitty. It's looking good, however. He was a little bit out of position, Katakuna. I think they can win this, though. It's looking pretty winnable. Watch the wolves. Watch the wolves. It's just a stall game. Just stall. Just stall. That's all you need. All right, we're going to lose our Reinhardt. It's backing. We're backing up. We're backing up. 
Oh, they used Shatter for some reason. I don't know how smart that was. I'm going to be very honest. He wanted to get that ego there. But we got we have we have some more ults than they do. So I'm thinking this is going to be win winnable for the Emery crew. Let's see what they got. They have to stall here. They have to contest this. Here comes the tank from Alshmitty. Gets nothing and we're down two. And they cap second point. A valiant effort though from Alshmitty. Picking up three. But I don't know if it's enough. That's point. There's about a minute, a little bit over a minute left on the clock for the Emory defense. We did see the shatter come out early there against the Emory supports, which is good for us because they don't have it now against the whole team. However, they're just picking us off without ults right now. And there goes the beat. And there goes the shatter. It was a great shatter and a good beat from Boone. However, they had a nice beat as well. Now it's stall game. They're approaching the end. They just have to stall here. Somebody has to touch cart. There's 30 seconds left. Just get it to overtime. We have zero ults to work with. But Alex, Katakuna, with the nice boot there. That was actually really nice. But let's see if, if we can do anything. No stalls. No stalls are there for the Emory crew. Very good defense, though. With about 10 seconds left in the clock, they capped that. Really good defense all around. I'm, you know, I'm actually not, I'm not mad at that, at that uh, Emory defense at all. Um, they did run that Symmetra on defense, and I feel like it did, you know, what they expected it to. They held for a long time. <laughs> ult management was very good, actually. Pretty fair ult management. You just got to figure out uh, how to deal with the other team's ults, I believe. Uh Making sure you pick off that Lucio before they get to use Beat. Because Beard would have a lot of fat shatters, but they would always be there to Beat at the end. Their supports are really, really important that, that you need to pick off. Because they have the Beat for the Lucio, and they have the Immortality Field of the Baptiste. I'm liking this. I like uh, all Schmidt on the Widow here. Looking for some quick shots. Nothing, nothing off the bat. Hits the headshot, but due to the nerf sniper range, he's not going to get the kill. Looking for quick damage, quick damage. Widow on King's Row is, is so good, so good. Looking for a quick pick here. As well as the Rhine. Rhines are dueling right now. Just going for percentage. Going for... Just going for ult charge. You know how important it is. And that's an MTD if I've ever seen one. Squashed. Obliterated. Whatever you want to call it. And it's going to look like the Emery crew taking this point in a timely manner. Despite having the uh, Albany Reinhardt SS135 closer to Shatter, I believe Beard is playing all around better. And as Alshmitty picks off the BAP, huge pick right there. And I believe he has sights and is going to use them right off the bat, as he should. I like Beard going up here, creating the space, holding this corner. That is the perfect corner. To hold right now he's doing this he's playing perfectly 
Almost has a shatter. Hopefully he just knows that their Reinhardt does have shatter as well. We see Albany just taking the main approach. If it were me, I would probably take my team to the high ground. However, they're just playing the, the safe game, going main. We see an aggressive beat here from Katakuna. Oh, there goes the Emre crew getting taken down. But it's looking winnable. Oh my god, there's so many ults going on. Yep, here comes the window to seal it off. I don't think they needed that window there, Albany. They just used everything that they had. Alright. We see Ash swap to the Pharah. With no mercy, I wonder how this is going to go. Because they do have the Soldier and the Bastion. Two hit scans. And a BAP. This, is, this might be a little challenging for Ash. But I trust. I trust that Ash knows what she's doing. And can get a significant pick here. And we see Alshamidi swapped back onto the Bastion. We're just taking this main fight. Constantly main. Constantly main. It's just a poke right now. We see the soldier going up top. Let's see if Ash can get that pick. He gets away. I like the DPS flanks right here. However, I think we do need to support over there for them in case they do start getting picked. Tix goes down. The shatter comes down from Albany. Not getting anything. But it's looking like cleanup for the Albany crew. However... It might be getting switched around here. And it is getting switched around. All Schmitty clutch. And Ash clutch. It's looking like just a clutch squad all around. We do have some good ults here coming up. And I think this is perfect. The ults that they have right now are perfect for this little part right here. And they're going to cap second point. In a timely fashion. Exactly what you want to see. I want to see something, Beard. Show me something. No shield. No shield. Here comes... Yes, the window. Two support ults coming out for the Emory squad. I feel like that could have been communicated a little bit better. I don't know if we needed both. I think we could have could have held both of them actually right there and right where the card is at right now I feel like we could have popped that window for this long stretch that kind of backs the team away instead of that corner where it'll just go away in two seconds however beard does have this shatter here look at ash look at this flank right here oh what an angle from ash oh with the shot with the direct it's looking clean. It's looking clean. This is winnable for the Wasp squad. But we just have to think about stalling and the respawns here. Ash is going to get taken down right there by the Bastion. Beard tries to shatter the Bastion. But remember, he is on that high ground. That's not going to work. But I respect it. I respect the vision. I saw it. Just under two and a half minutes left to go. Emery and Henry with a little bit of a shortage of ults here. Going up against the potential two of Albany. Here they go. The amp heals. They're going in. Get shattered. However, the nice immortality field comes out from Tix. Saves Beard and Beard gets the pick. Let's see what we can do. Window comes out. That is a perfect window. Exactly what I was talking about a few minutes ago. That is a much better window. Exactly what I like to see from Tix. Improving tremendously already on this support role. Despite barely playing it. Look at Beard in the spawn. Just distracting. While Katakuna gets the nice boop kill. Oh yeah. Oh it's looking good. It's looking good for the Emory squad. There goes <laughs> Katakuna down. However, it's looking winnable. The Tracer 
It's gonna be a tough. This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough cap. However, Al Schmidt, you know who he is. He's clutch. Beard is clutch. He's looking for the shatter here. Is it big? Just get him off the cart. That's all we need to do, and that's what they did. That's what I like to see. You hear the support in the back from the other teammates. They capped that with more time. That's all you can ask for right there. Perfect, perfect. Just under a minute of extra time. I wonder what comp they're going to run here. They might try to go with the sim defense again. Because Albany will be attacking first. And they just want to play some cheese to... You know, not let them get through that choke there. So I'm thinking of Bastion Symmetra, something like that. Alshmini is also known for playing the Torbjorn. We'll see what's uh, what's going on. Yep, and they are going to do exactly that. They're going to do the Bastion Symmetra. I, I really like what Emery's got going on right now. They're looking really good in their first game. And we're going to see the Albany squad running the same thing as they did last round. But let's just see if Emory can have a little bit better of a hold this time. I think they, they kind of <clears throat> got worried of uh, Albany walking through that choke point and didn't hold that to their full potential. So I think if they just hold this like where Beard is standing, if they don't get worried and back up to the hotel, if they just hold this choke... They just have a minute, so it's looking winnable if they just do that. But I say just as if it's something easy, which they are going to rotate back. They're going to play it safe. Poke game. There he goes. Beard with the snipe onto the soldier. That's a great pick to get first off. I can tell they want to play aggressive here. They really want to play aggressive. But I think that they all realize now that there is, what, like 20 seconds left. They just need to hold it on point. We're already building ults much faster than Albany. If we can just stall this, look at this flank from the hotel, from Alshmitty. They're scared, they're scared, they don't know what to do. The immortality field comes out from ticks. Gets taken down. The beat comes out. We just need to ult. And they're getting taken down. The Wasp Squad. And that is going to be point secured for the Albany Squad in overtime. I hope they don't forget that they do have to stay on the cart for this. Because it is OT. I think they're trying to rotate main here. Get that main, main push, main defense going. I like it. I like it. Beard with the pin. The B comes out from Katakuna, saving Beard's life. But the window comes out. It's hard to save that. I think they just need to back up, play this next corner to their advantage while they wait for... Beard to come out. They're just going to pop the sim wall and go without Beard. They said, I don't need a tank. They're just going to go. But they have to watch out for the shatter. And there it is. Since we didn't have a tank, there's nothing you can do. That's just an insta death. And they did pop the sights for some reason, too. So that's two ults down. Zero ults present for them. Just waiting, waiting, waiting for the regroup. I think they're going to try to stall this to the second point. They're, they're going to touch here. Beard has shatter. The shatter has to be huge. And here they go. Here they come. Immortality field comes out early. Gets nothing with the shatter. Alshmitty gets the uh, opposing bastion. It's looking winnable. Alshmitty doing what he does. Nice pick from Boone right there. However, they did capture that objective, and they're still rolling in overtime. 
I'm trying to think of what they can do here. This is this is tough. Albany's looking like a death ball. Look, you know, pretty much. They're just moving forward, melting Beard's shield down. This window is going to be huge. This window might win them right here. I like it. I like it. Just get them off that card. That's what we want. Good, good, good. Great heals coming out from Tix. And that's huge! Fire strike from Beard. However, two get taken down. Both supports get taken down. And that's round three over. All Schmitty coming up clutch there, as well as Beard with a double fire strike looking clean. What are we running here? What are we running here, Emery? Are we going to run the sim comp again? I don't know. There's a little less than two minutes here, so it's got to be kind of quick. I wouldn't mind seeing the Widowmaker pick from Alshmitty. Something that he can get a quick kill and then the rest of the team can pounce. But he's looking at the Bastion and the May. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I think that would have been better for a defense. I'm thinking if we had this exact comp on the defense, maybe that would have worked out a little, a little better. Just getting that wall on the opposing Reinhardt is is crucial. And I think it's going to be a little weird trying that on offense. But Ash is a very good player. So it, could, it can certainly work. And here we go. A little under two minutes. Here goes the Wasps. Looking for a quick pick. That's what they want. Uses the wall. To rotate around the pillar. We just need one pick. One pick. That's all we need. Shoot into that back line. And that's it. The wall comes out from Ash. Good wall right there. Separation. Now we have taken the point. We have taken the point. It's looking good. Immortality Field comes out. And Alshmitty does get the pick. However, we do lose we do lose Beard. And now they're just cleaning up Albany so far. Quick resets. Quick resets from the Wasps. Alshmitty and Tix with the amazing ult charge already. However, they do have some pretty good ult charge as well. Albany. I think... Yep, they're going to rotate straight through the hotel. Great move. And just get a quick pick. And they do, they trade. They trade. But they're cleaning up. The rest of the Albany squad is just cleaning up Emery. 30 seconds left. We need a quick reset. We have ults. We do have ults. This is super important. I feel confident that that uh, Katakuna and Ash will get their ults in this next fight. If it uh, goes on long enough. And here comes the window. The window coming out. And that's going to kill the Reinhardt, hopefully. Where is that Reinhardt? There he is. I'm not sure how that Rhine is still alive. But two people have already died for the Emery squad. Oh, no. All Schmitty gets taken down before he can ult. And that's going to be game. 1-1. One, one. Well played. Well played from both teams there. You know, I think... I think it was just hard to deal with that. The Rhine Bastion combo was just going kind of crazy there. You know, it was hard to stop. It was really hard to stop. I feel like, I don't know. It's kind of tough. It's hard to say, you know, what could have been. However, I feel like if we ran that May comp on the defense, I feel like there could have been a stronger hold there. But the ult usage on both teams were very good um, all around. So I don't think we're going to make any subs right now. If we do, I'll let you all know. But I think we're going to take another break because it is halftime. And we'll catch you in a minute.
We're just moving car right now, just getting a little cheap shots on each other. This, uh, you know, just getting cheap shots. You know, gotta get, I get that touch damage. Gotta get that touch damage. You gotta get poked them. Yeah, it makes a difference. You can see they're having to focus, keeping their healers alive. They're getting, they keep getting low. Their enemy Baptiste has almost died like three times already. Oh, which we, is a good oh, sign. oh, we see, we see the flank here. That's a good position. Not able to get a healer, and then Sigma actually has to use his shield on one person. Here we go. Name. That's so he didn't get a pick up there. His Spaniard uh, was able to move that uh, shield away from his team, and they were able to do a bunch of damage because of that. We're gonna pick on a. Uh... We got Spoon. We got pick on Spoon. We got heals. I love those more. I picked by Katuna uh, because he's just a great DPS player, but he's also a great healer. His aim is awesome. He plays me a Valorant. Same. Look at that, look at that damage right there. Here we go, baby, kick that Sigma out. Oh, oh unable that. to do it, they got that anti-heal on Reaper, but he's able to get out. Look at the heal, look at the heals. Oh, here we comes ult, baby. That's we're a big we're, ult. We're moving this, we're moving this. Let's go, baby. I love that they're not waiting for the ults. I love that they're using them, because you have uh -oh, to. Oh, Sigma ult, okay, okay, okay. We're fine though, we're fine. We got re revive on Sigma, so we're still here, we're still here. This is super aggressive play for Oh the my god! Big damage. Sigma, pick, what are you doing? Knocking the heck out of Anna. So he's the last one there, but his Spaniard and Skeeter's getting picks here. Man, I'm probably gonna save West Point holding on to that. We're probably gonna save but... it here since uh, we're probably gonna try to pick on Anna. Cause it we can regroup. We're really close here. They don't not yeah, know he's so here close. though. Oh, we're back. All right, we're getting. All right, we're getting. All right, Mora. All right. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. At the very least, Emery playing like a new new style here, like really confident and aggressive. Playing they aggressive. know this is their last shot. They said they got nothing to lose, baby. They got nothing to prove. Here we go, baby. I'm seeing we have two. Taking damage from top right. His Spaniard's on it. We have two DPS souls, and they have one healer and one DPS soul. But the deep two DPS souls, but one DPS is dead. Here we got a pick. Here we go, baby. It's big damage from his Spaniard as uh, Hanzo right now. He's yeah. landing the shots. You're either on or off with him, and right now he's on. He said, as he said, uh, big, uh, ult. big ult, big ult. We need to kill that Sigma, baby. Oh, uh, Reaper gets two ults though, and Sigma will go off. Man, they just couldn't focus down one enemy. Everybody kind of had their we own have, targets. Well, we have we have two ults, and we own, we're coming up on two ults. They have two ults left though. We have Sigma will go off on their team though. We have Sigma on our team, so we'll see what so, happens here. Yeah, at, this is kind of similar to how it was for the Army West Point when they were pushing. Almost ran out of time for this first point. So let's see if they can get it here last second push. That's crazy. It does not feel like it's been that long. It feels like we've been pushing it for like two minutes. And it's like a four-minute push It's just push been here. so fast-paced. Yeah. Here we go. All right, payload. so we've got a couple ults of almost three ults now. We're most likely going three ults before we even ult once. Oh, no, right, we have so Mercy ult. Still up top. We're probably going to see, see, see a Sigma ult very soon. We're probably going to see a Sigma ult very soon by our team. Ah, uh, alright, alright. Kind of tentative with the ult use there. They must be thinking they'll wait until this very final push, but it's going to be close. We're probably going to see, we're gonna probably see a Reaper go in and just straight up ult. Probably, we have a lot of ults here. We have a lot of ults here. We have, uh, we have more ult coming up, and Skitch's ult, and then Tropic's ult. I'm just saying go right, in. So they got to get on that point. There it is. Get, get that Moro and just go for it. Oh, he got knocked out. Okay, okay, we're oh, fine. Oh, no. We're here, All we're right, here. Tropics, this ult is really important. We're going, we're going for healers, going for healers, going for healers. Here That's we go. That's a good kill. That's a good kill. Good aim. It's worth it for the solo All right, we got, it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it here. We got it here. How about that? All now right, baby. Overtime with three more minutes. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Emory. We have right, so is going see, in. Still, keep it, yeah, I love this aggressive Let's play. It it's like aggro. working. He said, "He says I'm Genji, but in Sigma's body. That's what he pretty much yeah, said." Exactly, dude. And he feels comfortable as uh, as uh, Sigma. So he's just, you he can just, tell. He's playing that Valorant game style, so pre-fire the corners and everything. <laughs> I love it. All right, so uh, two minutes. It's not a far push here, and they actually look how far they pushed it before the enemy team even was able to show up. And the enemy team's not even showing that big of a thing. We're, we have our Tropic Shield going. We have our Sigma Ult. Let me Sigma Shield going. We're just chilling. Like contest, who's contesting to get them all, baby? Yeah, and there, there is going to be two ults from the enemy team, but nothing crazy. So. Oh, they got Mora ult on them? Mora? We got the anti heal. They okay, had yeah, an anti heal on Tropics, but wasn't able to uh, keep them healed that way. We but they didn't get the res. Here we go. Here we go, Tropics. Tropics just getting in their face. Yeah, oh, yeah, it. here I it is. It. 
He is causing some pressure. He's not getting kills, but he's causing pressure. I on love the that Mercy, uh, Ashes are her ult, but you're getting heals. We have two picks. We have a. We might. Need, we need back up here. We need probably back up. Probably gonna. You know, he's trying to keep his banner alive. You know, we need to keep that D. Oh, he might not be alive much longer. Ashix taking damage, but able to get out. Yeah, so we have a minute left. We have a minute left here. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's all down to like these final two pushes once again. It's kind of a far push now with just 48 seconds left. Yeah, but we're able to get a, if we're able to wipe, it changes. If we able to get like two picks on DPS or healer, it changes. All right, so they get the Sigma ult out on the other team. Let's see if he gets any picks with it. It doesn't look like oh, there's Reaper the Reaper ult. ult. Two kills. You know, in the grand scheme of things, that's not as bad as it could have been with two ults popping out. Yeah, we got it. Oh, I thought we got picked there. So it's down to this. 25 seconds left. Final possible push for Emery. They're, they're, but they're pushing to spawn. Here we go. All right, so here it is. They've got to get a team have, wipe, basically. We have a tracer for touch. And here we go. All right, we do have uh, Tropics' ult as Sigma. That's been a big one. And if Katakuna plays smart here, he could get his ult as well. We got a tracer for a flank? Ah. Uh. The tracer here, here. Go. teacher's just trying to like distract. All right, guys, we're back. Circuit Royale time. We did have some subs for the Emory squad. We saw Tix roll head out in place of uh, Drew Sturgill coming in for damage. So we're going to see Ash swap to support and Drew come in for damage. So a little bit about our lineup here. We have Katakuna. He is a junior here at Emory Henry College, Alex Boone. He's part of the golf team and a part of a social fraternity in Theta Chi Epsilon. And we're going to get a quick pause here, but I guess while we're paused, I can continue to chat. Um, I guess they are ready. I'm not really sure what's going on. But then we have Beard. Beard is a senior here at Emory, also a part of Theta Chi Epsilon, a part of the marching band. He's one of my best friends. Love that man so much. We have Ash. Ash is a junior here. She runs the social media account. So if you're wondering who is posting those images, it is Ash. Ash is a GM player here. She plays uh, mainly support. And then we have Drew Sturgill, who's pretty new to the Overwatch team. Uh, this is his second semester, I do believe, on the team. Usually known for his damage roles, as in uh, usually Cassidy. A, hit, a lot of hit scan going on for... For Drew, he's also in the marching band. He is a sophomore student. And then, last but not least, we have Al Schmidt. He is a part of the tennis team here. He's a sophomore. And he is a sweetheart of the Zeta Phi sorority. So let's see how this goes. We are attacking first on Circuit Royale. I like the double hit scan. Oh, it's not double hit scan. It's Hanzo Widow. Double sniper, rather. No, we're red. Yeah, we are red. All right, double hit scan. I was right. It's going to be weird looking at the red team now. Oh, their Widow picking two off. The double sniper could be better than the double hit scan. Beard staying alive, staying alive. Good on him, good on him. Beard Sigma is very good. I've had the honor to play against Beard on his Sigma, so we'll see how that goes. Albany is holding this high ground here. I like that a lot from them. I want to see Katakuna try to go for a, uh, a boop there, get him off the high ground. But that's a little risky. A little risky. I think, I think the Emory squad should be less afraid right here and walk up those stairs. And get some picks. Beard's just going to try to get out, but it will get taken down. They're holding this high ground pretty strongly. I want to see them uh, speed boost in there. You know what I mean? Speed boost in there. Just, just go. Maybe the Widow-Cassidy uh, combo isn't the best for this first point. I feel like this first point, you need something a little bit more brawly. You speed up the stairs, brawl them, 
And then maybe on that second point where there's a lot more, you know, distance you want to swap to the snipers. Ultimate does get the pick on the enemy Hanzo. Oh yeah, beer. There you go. There you go. He's saucing. It's looking good. Looking good. All right, Beard with the late kill. Love to see it. He's up there. He's in there. Going to jump back down. Beard taking space. Has improved tremendously over the summer with his game sense and his gameplay. Oh, my God. Looking clean with it. Looking clean with it. We do have some ults here. I like to see it from Beard with the eat. Yes, sir. I'm getting hype, y'all. I'm getting hype. Beard is saucing right now, and it is making me happy. Oh, yes, sir. And we did cap the point even better. Drew Sturgeon with the final kill right there. Beard is going up. He's hungry. He's almost to another Gravitic Flux. Peaking at just below 80. And Emery still has ults online. They're looking very, very clean right now. In every way. The enemy window comes out for Albany. Beard needs to take cover. Take cover fast. However, his healers are very, very reliable. So he's able to survive that. However, Drew Sturgill does get taken down. And here comes the Flux. It's looking clean. It's fat. Just clean up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Let's go, all Schmitty with the headshot and the widow diff. Get up there, Enage. Get up there. It's looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what he's doing. Let's see this. Uh, let's see Beard. I want to see what he's up to right now. He's in deep. He's in deep. They did get the stall. Albany did. And they're all going to get taken down just before they cap that point. We do almost have a nano. We have three ults coming up here. And Beard is at 60 to a flux. He's building that flux fast. He's looking like Call Ricky out here. All you ones from last year know what I'm talking about. I want to see Ultimate on this Widow. What I'm hoping Drew knows what to do is whenever the enemy Sigma fluxes, hopefully Drew will pop that high noon mid-air to raise above everybody else. Alright, we see two support ults coming out with the Widow kill. I like the high noon from Drew right there. Yes, sir, picks up two. Does get taken down by the Ilari ult. But what can you do? That ult is kind of crazy. And that will be point two taken. I think we're around three and a half minutes if I can see correctly. Is it? Oh, it's two. All right. Let's see what they can cook up here. Let's see what they can cook up. They're pretty. They're pretty spread out here. I think some of them are going to take this high ground approach, while some stay bottom. Let me see this, uh, let me see the Sigma gameplay from Beard. Here comes the Flux from the enemy Sigma of Albany. Beard does get taken down in a two-man Flux. Emery's just got to retreat. Get out of there as fast as possible. Or die. Just die. Just die. That'll happen. I think that's okay. That's a fight that's, you know, you're not mad at if you lose. Because they did invest ults there. But they need to figure out how to combat this this uh, potential window bastion ult combo that is in the making for Albany. But Beard does have the flux. Rock comes out. He's going to hit the flux here since he has no rock. He's going to get the Sigma in the air. Sigma goes down. Nice flux kill. MTD. You love to see it. However, a lot of the Emory squad is down as well as Beard. And this is going to be another quick reset. 
It's hard to get to that bastion. He's sitting in the back. We're going to see a swap. Yeah, we're seeing a swap from Drew. Go into the bastion. I think in this in this current meta, you have to... You kind of have to mirror the bastion. It's such an important role in the in the current meta right now that if you don't have one, you're just going to get mowed down. And there he is, jumping on the cart. Looking for that backline kill onto the opposing bastion. And we see Alshamidi on the Ash. Didn't even notice that swap. Gets the pick on the bastion. Drew Sturgill very low on health. We see a beat coming out from Katakuna. I think this is an aggression beat. And the Nano. I don't believe we needed these. I don't think we needed those right there. Um, not a lot was happening. And then we just get taken out. With about 15 seconds left, I feel like we could have waited it out, then did it. Oh, he's about to get obliterated. There it is. I don't think they're going to be able to touch. I wish they could have recontested this with the beat there. That would have been a lot better. Now they're just looking for a quick pick here. Make some magic, anything. He does get the ult, but gets taken down. And it's not looking likely. Beard on the stall with the ball. But I don't think it's going to be enough. That was a pretty good push, though. Alshmini does have the bob here. The bob is stalling the card, I believe. Gets two! Drew Sturgill gets two! If they could just get back in time, this is absolutely winnable. But nobody can get there. And it's going to be round one complete. Good distance, though. Two points. Two points, not too bad. Not too bad. I think this is an adjustment round for the squad because of Drew coming in and Ash swapping roles to the support. So I think they just got to get a little bit warm, you know. Drew was showing out, though, at the very end. He got those two picks. Only if somebody could have been there. I wonder what they're going to look like on defense. I feel like Elshmini going to run the uh, some sort of sniper, some some Ash or, or uh, some Widow. Because this is a great sniper map. Yep, and he's going to do that. Okay, perfect. I really like this. Mercy is Ash's uh, best character. Oh yeah, I like the damage boost here. The damage boost on uh, Drew Sturgill as well as Gus is going to look good. Gus just needs to hit some shots here. He was. He was saucing earlier. He's got to continue though. They're setting up on this high ground, which is great. Great for them. This is exactly where they should be. And we see a very similar uh, team that Albany's running. However, they have the Moira instead of the Mercy here. Gets very low, all Schmitty. It's just taking turns. Taking turns on shots here. Just be safe. Wait it out. Shield placement is key from Beard. Gets taken out though. Katakuna does. Good res there though from Ash. Just patient, patient, patient. I think we can drop down now and just start firing on those people in the background. I think that's their best bet. Sigma's getting obliterated, however. Look at this Bastion duel. And Al Schmitty wins that. You know he does. Every time. Oh, that's Drew. That's Drew Sturgill. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong name. I'm so used to, to Al Schmitty playing. Playing Bastion. Nice from Drew. Nice from Drew. Looking for a shot here. Oh, close. Hit the body. Hit the body. I think they're going to win that. They won that fight, yes. Al Albany's backing out here. Perfect, perfect. Oh, yes. Nice pick. Nice pick. Looking good. That's what I like to see. He's warm, ladies and gentlemen. 
He's winning these widow duels. I know he will. However, there's no more widow anymore. They got annoyed. They had to swap off. They couldn't handle it. I still think he should stick to the sniper. I still think he should stick to the widow. Because it's such a, uh, you know, a distance type of map. You know, everything's so far apart. I feel like this is really good for him. Gets the headshot on the sig. Not enough to kill. Looking for the backline people like this bat, which is perfect. Exactly what he wants to do. Gets taken out by the Bastion ult. Not a lot you can do there. Not a lot of warning goes into that. Here we see Drew Sturgill in the front lines battling for his life. Beard taking down the Moira, which is really good there. Albany's low, low, low. They just have to commit. Oh, almost had the res off. But it's okay, we traded the denied res for a kill on the SIG. Beard's gonna ult this nice shots from Alshmidi there. I know he had that headshot if he didn't get booped by that bomb. Hopefully they notice the enemy supports up here. Those will be huge staggers if we can get those kills now. Oh, Beard is so dangerously low. Gets taken down. And we're going to get fluxed. We're going to get fluxed. I think that's a wipe. That's going to be a wipe, and that's going to be first point. Most likely. That's going to be a team kill. All right, Beard. Let's see what you can do, buddy. <clears throat> Albany's still holding on to two ults here. They're probably going to do the window visor combo. That's what I expect. Right here at this corner. Past that pillar, right where Beard is standing. I believe that's when it's going to come out. But Drew Sturgill is just better. He's, he said we don't need ults. Takes the first pick. Beard hammering into the support. As you can see, the tank has swapped off of Sigma and is on Zarya now. Sar Zarya versus Sigma is, I believe, in Sigma's favor. I believe it. Yes, I love this rotation from Beard here. Sitting here, shielding for his Ash. His damage boosted Ash on the high ground is going to be unbeatable. They're going to make that quick rotation to help save Drew here. And he does. Drew has this ult. Going to kill that immortality field. I know he was going to ult there, but got picked off. Nice picks. Nice picks from Alshmitty. However, it does fall. Keep him up, Ash. There he goes. Goes down, but Ash is going to try to do something on her own, but is going to get taken down. That Zarya is going to have Grav here. They might do a Grav window combo, which will be scary for the Wasp because we don't have any defensive support ults. We don't have any support ults at all at the moment. If we had a Lucio or, or a Kiriko, we can maybe do something. But here we go. First pick goes off to Alshmitty. And goes Bob. Bob gets taken down. As well as a few members of the Wasp squad. Beard is ulting this. <coughs> in hopes. In hopes of saving it. It's looking winnable, however. You just gotta take care of the Zarya. The Zarya is a big issue right now. What do they run? Do they swap? What do they do? Just gotta kill the Zarya. The Zarya is a big issue. And I think there's just above three minutes left, I think. Two minutes. There's two minutes. And they're gaining. On the end point right here, they gotta figure out what they need to do. They have one ult. They just got to build, 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 and somehow manage this grav that is going to be launched by the Tsar. I think if they play spread out, I think that's their best bet. I like the two people on the high ground. I like that. <clears throat> we see an anti on the top. Here comes the grav. Instantly gets taken down. Two picks, three picks. Zarya is going crazy. We don't know what to do. Somebody's got a touch cart there. Nice pick from Alshmini who gets two. But I think he's the only hope. Gets taken down. And that's going to be game 
Albany with the lead so far. Yeah, I think that was a really good effort there from the Emory squad. They played the sniper game. However, I feel like the sniper game is good a lot of the times. It may have not been the best for what the enemy team was running. They were just pushing and pushing and pushing, and it was just – I don't think it was enough. We weren't getting, <clears throat> you know, consistent headshots and stuff like that that snipers should be. But – um Maybe a bunker comp there, more of a bunker comp for the defense on that one, despite the sniper map design kind of deal. And then the swap to the tank, I don't think, I don't think we knew how to, uh, you know, deal with that Zarya. The Zarya was really tough, really tough to defeat there. She was, could be the reason that they won that right there, to be honest. I think we were looking pretty good other than that. But yeah, I think they're gonna. We might make some swaps here, maybe, and we're gonna change the map where uh, the Emory squad is discussing right now. What map to run? And yeah, I will let you guys know when we're back. Brb. I don't. It's just great heals and it's also great damage because I heard it just yeah. sucks everybody, man. You know, you know, not in that way, you know. In the, yeah, in the, yeah, yeah, in the good way, in the good way. In in the Overwatch two in, kind of way. Yeah, in the, in the yeah, somewhat that way, I guess. All right, so Hall Schmidt's very low here, but they're keeping them all. Oh, there he goes, right as I'm saying it. One rock off, so picks Tropics, and Ashik goes down. So it looks nope. like they might lose this point quick here. One pick, the one Reaper pick. chasing. Yeah, that one pick got us. Once that one pick down, and it's our tank. If it was like a DPS, you might be able to survive because we have uh, Kirito, but yeah, after that, yeah. I think that was the Reaper stayed mold there, getting like three or four kills, like really crazy. I mean, they have one more ult, and we we're charging up a more ult also, so I believe this can go any kind of way right now. They still oh, have yeah. to push it very far, and our team well, is really good with push maps. We are, and and we're really good at defending the very last point usually, because I don't know if it's our play style or what, but like we've held the point at like one meter for like five minutes at one point during this season, so. All right, Tropics and Hispanic, they were pushed up really far, but do die. Uh, yeah, it's we've, we've seen a lot of Reaper play. Uh, Tropics and State Mold are playing him. And that's been, like, really consistent all season. It looks like we're playing or it looks like we're playing for this last little bit because we're just letting them push it up. Yeah, they're not even contesting. That's true. The the If you're watching and you don't know Overwatch, the uh, blue diamond at the top there is the first checkpoint. Uh, and then the gold is the final there, so they uh, at least don't want them to get to that blue checkpoint. And that blue checkpoint just happens to be kind of where Katakuna just died, so not long for uh, West Point there to push now. I believe the reason they're doing it because they're not real. This map is more or less you have to, a few spots you're able to go around, and they're just wanna, they're trying to ambush them somewhere. And I guess it was like, the most prominent spot, but. So let's see if they can stop that checkpoint. It doesn't look like they'll be able to. They do have two ults ready to go, but so does West Point. They actually almost have three. So uh, really going to be tough fighting these guys. We do have the spawn advantage now near uh, the end of the map, though. We have, we have to hold on for at least uh, five, four, 440. Four yeah, that's minutes. a long time in Overwatch that's time. That's time, crazy. Yeah. We have right, a we... switch on the Sigma. Yeah, Sigma's been played well uh, a lot all season. I think it's made a huge difference. But this Zarya, like I said, look at that damage. And you just can't attack while she's shielded because of that damage boost. It's just not worth it. Uh, so we're kind of pushed up. We've got three ults against us now. We did have to use two already. I mean, we have but for now. We've corner. halted the push. Yeah, we've pushed. We've halted it for sure. They have. So they've only have used one ult, and the one ult gets one pick on Alex. Oh pick no, that's Dylan. three picks right there. Really fast, back to back to back, three picks. I was gonna say, I don't know Tropics, Tropics trying to is. get cheeky here, yeah. Uh, and can't get a pick. I was hoping he could get that one pick at least, but not able to. The best thing is that we're really close, and we have a switch on the Ash. Yep. Yeah, the Ash has been good. Uh, all, you know, kind of like a new discovery for our team, but the Ash play's been awesome. All right, so kind of up to Alshmitty here as the tank to push in there and stop that point, and you can see he does. And he gets his ult off, so that could be a huge... Ashik gets picked off. 
So does his Spaniard. Katakuna goes down. The Reaper is just tearing us up right now. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, Rock getting two kills. The Zarya and the Reaper combo too, too much right now for Great. our guys. So really tough. We hate Zarya, but I was a good Zarya playing good Reaper play. Mm -hmm. It's nothing yeah, else not to say a... about it. Yeah, for real. So time remaining, they had 324. So the whole point here is that we push that faster than they did and have more time remaining. So that's going to be really tough. That's really fast. From watching their play style, I feel like they're going to be the same kind of way we were. And I just think we got to take this first point really quickly. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's, it's just a really vital Reaper. to that first. Winston yeah, you're right. Push, or like maybe throw an immortal field a baptize on the point and just go for it. We've been unable to like pick off their healers in these past couple of rounds. So I don't know if they're going to try and push that even harder and really focus that or if they're going to try something new. We do see a Widow and Oshmany's on ball right now. So we'll see if they stay. Baptize? Oh, no, that's them, not me. Hey, you still get to see a Baptiste, but not who you want to be playing it. So, Tropics on Genji. So yeah, they're going like super aggressive. It looks like besides his Spaniard, gonna hang back and get some headshots hopefully. So, I wonder what heals we're gonna go. We have a uh, Kirito and what? Uh, Katakuna still picking. We've got uh, Genji, Widow, and Ball right now. Uh, but we haven't seen Ashik play Kiriko as much as what's well. mostly been Katakuna. So. I like that we've seen a bunch of new characters for new players tonight. I just I just hope we get to play with a ball. Oh, Ash, uh, Ash and Anne. Yeah, you can see that like, speed seems to be very important to how they're thinking to play right now. They're all grouped. The other team's all grouped in that little area. We have ball back here already, though. We have ball behind them. They don't even know. Yeah, he's just wanting to turn heads and not allow them to focal, focus down their main group. Ball doing a great job pushing them into that room though. Oshmany, good play there. We picks, oh Katakuna we got Katakuna does get picked off, unfortunately. Take this pick. Oh my gosh, let's go. The Spaniard switched off the Widow is now on Ash again. Like we were saying, we like that, but oh no, Ball goes down, Oshmany gets picked, and Tropics says too, man, we're really locked right now. And we do not have the time to be stuck here. We just gotta get, I don't even know what's going on. We need using a shotgun to get them off the edge. They're just so I don't. They're just hitting their shots. They're playing powerful they people. And their tanks are doing a really good job of not allowing our team to push behind. You can see Spanner trying to get a shot in their back lines, but they're just so well protected. We can't get them. We can't get the healers. That's the problem. Their tank is so yep. good. He's covering all areas, and then their DPS is hitting their shots on us. On our people trying to flank like Genji. Yeah, it seems like every time we run into trouble, it's either a Sigma or a Zarya with the tank position. So Ashik's dead. Looks like the team's deciding to just kind of hang. Unless they can get a pick here, they probably won't push until he's back, which he's probably back now. That's more like to go to an overtime push for us. Uh, yeah, only 2 minutes and 23 seconds, so it very likely it will be a overtime push. Alright, so Ball, trying to call some chaos here. Sometimes that's all you need is some chaos. I'm hoping for a Battle Mercy again. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, and I love to see a Mercy. Alright, guys. Welcome back to the stream. We're going for game number four here. Hopefully the Wasps can, uh, you know, settle a victory to go into a game five. We're going to go to a push map. We're going to Coliseo. Let's see what we can do here. So I think we're gonna go for a different approach here, comp-wise. I was in the room. I heard what they're running. So I'm excited for you all to see. Coach Mag currently giving some motivation to the squad. So they need it, they need it for sure. They're not down in the dumps, which is good. You know, that's, that's honestly a first for this team. Usually when we lose, we get kind of quiet and stuff like that. But positive attitudes continuing for the Wafs. So, yeah. We're headed to Coliseo. We're feeling good. We're looking all right. We're looking pretty good. So, personally... I think with this type of map, with this uh, push map, uh, you want to run something fast. 
you want to run something that can, uh, you know, withstand a lot. So usually I see a lot of Junker Queen on this map. Queen's really good here. As well, I feel like, like you want something fast, as well as Ball. Ball's really good here as well. Um, yeah. We're seeing, is that a Genji I see? But for damage wise, I would just run something quick. You know, like I said, so maybe a Tracer, or Genji. Something mobile, quick. Farah, Bastion. That's all right, because, you know, normally I wouldn't say the Bastion, but in this current meta, I feel like we need it. So this Farah I like, and we're going to run the Sigma. All right, here we go. The opposing team's running an Orisa. Let's see how that goes against the Sigma. Usually it's not the best, which is good. That's good for us. All Schmitty and Ash. Good duo here. Oh, yeah. Alshmini knows what he's doing on this Pharah. His Pharah is, is very good. Even though they have a soldier, look at that direct hit. Point blank. Done for. Oh, yeah, they're scramming, scramming, scramming. That's what I like. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alshmini just poking at that Bastion. This damage boosted Farah. Every everybody knows that this is this is dangerous. However, he's gonna get kind of stuck there and can't get away. I think he was there a little bit too long. Gets taken out. But let's see if uh, the rest of the team can hold this. They're looking to pounce on Drew, and they are. They're on Diva now to to counter the Farah and the Mercy. And there goes Drew. Drew gets taken down. And it's just going to be clean up now. I think they should die fast if they can. So they're not staggered. Beard just needs to stop moving. Just stand still, brother. And there he goes. Not a bad push. They got about 46%, which is really good. And we have ult in the bank. But now they have a D.Va. So this fair Mercy... Really needs to be careful, as well as this Bastion. This Bastion is not going to have a ton of value because of the defensive matrix. And here comes the Diva Bomb. Hopefully that gets nothing. And it does pick off Ash. She wasn't in that immortality field of Katakuna. But I think we're just going to sit here and try to get a pick and maybe work some magic. But Drew gets taken down pretty quickly. <coughs> <coughs> Nice, nice. I like that from Katakuna. Huge pick on the Bastion there. Oh, yeah. This is a great position for Beard to be in. They're right under the cart. He has the flux. He wants to hit it. He's going for the supports. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gets Immortality Field. Low. Finishes him off. Perfect flank from Alshmitty. Love that. Oh yeah, this is looking very winnable, this map. We have three ults in the bank for the Wasps. Compared to uh, the four that Albany has. It's just about who can press them faster and better. Who knows what to do. It's going to be kind of tough. We see an early window come out from Katakuna. He's not even using it himself. <coughs> it's kind of far back. But I feel like that is the best place to put it. Since the bot is in such a kind of an awkward position right now under that bridge. That's probably the best place. Gets taken down. Drew Sturgill. They're going to use that window. That's a good window placement right there. And I think everybody's going to be taken down. And it's, the bot is going to be headed the other way. Alright. All we did there was use that window. Which is good. I'm glad nobody else on the Emory squad used their ults there. Played it safe. However, they did that as well. Yeah, they do still have the four ults. They popped the window, but then they built the soldier visor. Drew gets the first pick, though. What are ults? Who cares? They're going to be retreating, as they should. Backing it up. Backing it up. Hopefully, we can get some late kills here. I think we could on this Bastion here. Yes. Very late kill there, which is great. 
And Beard is building up this flux fairly quickly. Oh my gosh. And they took down the BAP. Perfect stagger. That's even better. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. If we can win this fight with less ults, that's great. They're, they're holding that bridge. It's going to do nothing right there. Useless. Useless bomb. Drew gets another pick. Drew is absolutely popping on this Bastion right now. We see the barrage coming out. Tanks coming in. But the enemy Bastion does pick off Katakuna. But it's alright because the WAF squad is still cleaning up. They're looking good with the less ults. Albany used two there. And we used none. Oh, we used one. Or oh, two. Two maybe. Two. But we still have three. That's all that matters. We have Flux, Window, and the Bastion ult. Window's going to be used really early here. But he's going to get picked off. I wonder what his mindset was there. But we're going to use this window to the best of our ability. Drew Surgil at one health. Gets taken down. <coughs> I think it's just a patient thing for the Emery crew. I feel like they didn't need to do that there. I feel like they could have been on bot, moved the bot up that little hill right there. Sat at the corner, then windowed with the whole team. But we did lose that point right there. We're still in the lead though, which is great. By 13. We have Flux here. Flux is going to be huge here. Zero ults for Albany. You just have to watch that Kiriko Suzu. Kiriko's dead. Now's the perfect time to Flux. She does get rest, however. Now you just have to bait it. He's going to do it anyway. He's going to Flux. Everybody on the U Albany team is super low. Emery just has to commit and go, go, go. Gets the DMEC on the D.Va. She's in kind of a weird position here. Can't get away. Can't get away. And we take it back before it even gets on our side. Love that. Soldier trying his best to kill this all Schmitty ash combo. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. He has this barrage here. He's getting shot at heavily by this soldier. Takes cover. Good positioning there. Looking good, looking good, getting some picks. And we're going to build it up this hill. This hill is a really hard part to get up. But they did it perfectly right there. <clears throat> look at look at this, look at this, look at this flank. Oh, he said nah, he said nah, forget it. I, I, liked, I liked the creativity. I saw, I saw the vision. Oh, Ash. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, let's see what we can do with this barrage. The only ult we have, we do have window now, right as I say that. Window comes out. It's in a great spot on the bridge. Here comes the Pharah gets taken down instantly by the Ash. That's gonna be tough playing Pharah into this now. He might want to swap it off now that they have double hit scan and Diva with a BAP. Even though he does have the barrage, I'm honestly not sure of how much value it's gonna do. They have so much on their team that can that can stop it. They they have four hit scans on their team and a Kiriko Suzu to block the ult. He might want to do it really early so he can go ahead and swap off. That diva will not leave him alone. She knows what she's doing. We see the flux coming out. Coming out for Beard. They do get the DMAC. Looking good. Beard's looking good. He's feeling it. He's going to want to ult this. He's, he's thinking about it, but I think he's going to hold off. Nice. Looking good. Perfect. Looking good, my man. Good cleanups there. With only one ult use. I think they're figuring out more and more how to win fights with less ults. They're just playing all around better than they have been right now. They're going to camp this bridge. I want to see what Gus has in uh, in his bag for this barrage on Pharaoh. Beard is just holding it off. Look at him. Gus is in. He is in. He's looking for a quick kill. 
finds the soldier. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough kill right there. Oh, he is getting ulted. He is getting ulted. And he's going to kill it. He canceled it. He canceled the soldier visor. Which I think is a good trade there. The soldier's really useful. The ult is really useful. Gus just needed to get rid of that ult. And they're still winning. Regardless of the trade. Pops the Valkyrie Ash. Let's see it. 10 seconds left. They just need to clean it up here. They do have that Zarya now. Albany has that Zarya. We just have to get rid of that Zarya. We learned that last game. They talked about it in the break of how to deal with the Zarya. I think we do have close spawn, so they are coming back faster. Uh, and there goes Beard. They're going to have to reset it. That's good. That's good. We've doubled. Doubled their meters. We just have to get them away. Get them away. And I think Gus should swap off the Farah here. If I'm going to be completely honest. Something to get a quick pick. Farah's good at that, but not with their, their current lineup. I feel like it's going to be a little tough. They did lose the Diva and they did lose the Soldier. And he's going to stay on the Farah. I think he trusts himself well enough. And you know what? I trust him. Let's see what we can do. They grab. They grab. They do grab. But look at Alshmitty. Right when I say I don't know about it. He's picking up three. Four. Make it. Oh. He's thinking about it. That's going to be a game right here. And that's going to be a 5k from Alshmitty to make it 2-2. Two to two. We're going to map 5. You hear him yelling. Positive. All the way around. Amazing, amazing uh, push game from uh, from the Emory squad. We don't practice that a whole lot, actually. But it was like, they played that really well. The ults, the ult managements were amazing. The early picks were amazing. They pushed up to a perfect, you know, they pushed up. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. They will push up to a great position. Beard, good on you for that. It was great. Everybody. Every single player was doing good. I think next is Flashpoint, the newest game mode in Overwatch. I hope we know how to play that because I don't. And, uh, yeah, they're going to choose the Flashpoint map. We'll see if there's any subs. And, yeah, we'll be right back. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, right now we have, we have four ults, almost five ults ready to go on this next push. And this push seems... And the area they're pushing through seems really, really, uh, really, really defender heavy. So I feel like this would be a really good push for us to make our mark and not let them get through. Because this yeah, should and, be really short. And that early Hispanic pick too really like helps our guys not have to just immediately ult here. And they're having the ult every time they get their ults because they can't. They, Zarya doesn't have an ult. Reaper doesn't have an ult. Hey, we have an ult here. Let's go. And they're protecting their healers though. All right. So that is one ult, but we still have four. So let's see what we decide to do here. They There's have ult here. the Tropics ult. Say a ton of damage and a kill. Here we go, baby! Let's is. go! The triple in return. That's two triple kills from Reapers right now. 220 left, Both 220 on left on clock. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Emery. So unable to stop that first checkpoint, but I would say that is a successful play well, so far. His Spaniard also picking up a pick. We're barely in halfway into his next checkpoint, and they have two minutes left. And we can see what they do. And they're we're just we're just bodying them right now in their own spawn. There we go. Hold on. Hold on, Lucio. Yeah. This is a great spot to stop it because we can get up here on top of this little doorway and really hold them. You can see Tropics just denying entry right now. The only thing I'm scared of is that they do the same thing to us when we're actually attacking. That is true. That is true. That's It's it's definitely uh, undetermined right now whether it's better to attack or defend, but you know attacking is so hard. But we're on site. We're on, let's get it, baby. We have no. We have, we have ult going by Baptiste for the damage boost and shield. They have, they are, they're sitting at their ult, but there goes Zarya ult. All right, we get a pick though from Katakuna, the healer, we love that. We got ult by uh, uh, Kirito, we have, uh, Kirito. We have ults going off by other team, they have ults. They're pushing us, but we're not dying. We have only one death from uh, Speechers. Yeah, they're, they're, it, Wasp are being really smart with like staying behind uh We're getting picks also. Right now. We got picks on Lucio. Lucio is the only other ult on the game right now. All right, we do lose our healers now. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're, we're still holding point, we're still holding point. We have a minute left on this one point. I'm saying hold it. Wait, wait for our team to get back and hold it. We're coming back, we're, might, we're must like get an ult on it. 
We're gonna go ult here. All right, let's see if they can stop it. Yeah, he, he's probably gonna pop that ult. There it is. There it is, baby. Let's go. Stop it here, baby. Stop it here, Emery. There we go. There's a pick. Right before the point, too. That would have awarded them more time. Skeeter's hiding. We need to get that soldier. Soldier old also got Ash. Got, oh, uh, looks like they're gonna get it. Oh, man. Ah. That is the second time tonight that a soldier ult has like changed the whole game. So but right here we have two really minutes. Really tough. We have two minutes for them to come back. We have two minutes. We have, we have That's uh, good. That's in our favor as the wasp right now. Yeah, we have two. We have a uh, we have an ult by Sigma and Ash left. You can see this. Uh, we haven't got any crazy plays off the tropics ult, but it's done really good things for the team. You can just see they're so tanky. The two Sigmas just hitting each other, barely doing anything. Well, about Alex and Batiste, he can hit hard and he can jump high. His bullets are accurate and he hits so hard as his gun. Yeah. And his yeah, heals uh, That's a cool character. We we're all focusing him, but he's not dying. We don't know how. He's just not dying. All right, we got the uh, Mercy ult popping off here, and we still have two more ults after that. Tropic Soul just they're, they're pushing point behind us, but we're just sitting. Oh, Tropic's pushing two point. He's stopping point. We have a minute left. This might like to go to an overtime. He's There's ulting the here. Ult. It uh, misses, they get a, what, miss, 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 miss. But it did push this uh, Sigma down. So that's the beauty of that ult is that you have to leave that area. We're we're, we're oh, we're getting picked. We're getting picked. We're getting picked. All right, we're healing here. Skeeters, come on. All right, so they're gonna get a strong push, but I think we can get back before they push all the way. Possibly, this is really close. I think we'll be good, yeah. We're waiting in damage boost. Here we go. Put your damp put your wall out. So they just can't get picked here trying to ah. get to the point where it's over. And then just kind of goes down. All right, we stopped it barely. As you said, as you said, Rylan, we're good on that last little bit. Ah. Oh, so close. It was while ball was up in the air. That's yeah, how that's, we're that Sigma ult was really smart by him. So he raised him up off the point. So he was able to get the point yep. and move it. That was very smart. So that's not a bad play though. Uh, you can still win this if we get to three points. It will go to overtime, but uh, we have a lot of time to do that. You can see they only had 17 seconds left. Let's just hope. Let's just hope they can push this octopus with the money cart all the way. That's my name for this uh, map: Octopus Money Cart. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's a good name. So we'll see if they pick any different characters. Uh, we've seen uh, Army West Point kind of changing it up quite. All right, guys. Welcome back. To our final round of the evening it's tied two to two with the emory and henry crew and the albany crew we're headed to new junk city for flashpoint that was albany's pick i'm not too familiar with the uh with the flashpoint maps but uh i've played this one for sure it's a doozy so emory did win that the first map which was control so this is kind of kind of like control so uh if they can do that, I want to say they can do this. And they're really confident right now. They have a really positive attitude going into this, which is perfect. It's exactly what you need for the final round of the evening. Hopefully, the Emory crew can pick up a 1-0 to start the season off in the Diamond Masters division as well. You have to think about that. A lot of these players are not Diamond and Masters. But they're keeping up. They're keeping up for sure. I think they're going to, yeah, they're running the exact same thing that they just did in the previous round on Coliseo. We're seeing the Pharaoh from Al Schmitty and his right-hand man, Ash, and Drew Sturgill rocking the Bastion. And we're going to see a pause request. And we're going to get a quick pause, which uh, while I'm here actually reminds me that uh, – Albany did make a sub. I think they subbed uh, one of their <laughs> one of their DPS players. I want to say, but the screen's really far away from me, so uh, don't worry about that. So we're just sitting here at the pause. I'm excited to see what they're gonna do here. What? All right. Anyways, odd comment there, but it's all right. It's all it's all love. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with the same comp that they just ran. I think Gus is feeling the Farah. I think Ash knows what she's doing on the Mercy, 
Her movement is wild. We already know this. And I think Beard is really feeling it on the Sigma. So. And we got the ready from Albany. So let's see it. Here we go. There's so many, uh, with the, with this type of map, with this uh, with this flashpoint, there's so many ways onto the point. There's so many flanks. So it's hard for me to say if they're going main, if they're flanking. I have no idea. I think they're all just going where they want to go. Because there's so many ways in. This is, I've never, I've never seen Farrah played on this map. I haven't played it enough. I want to say it's really good because all of the, the, this cover right here is perfect for Alshmidi. Trying to get a quick pick on the Bastion. Does get taken down. But the main tank does go down, though. For Albany. So it's looking pretty winnable. Especially if we can get that res off. But I don't know if Ash is going to be able to. Yeah, not going to be able to. He spawned in. Push it up, push it up, push it up. That's what I want. Beard getting extremely low. Needs to take cover. Go up the stairs, go around, ring around the rosy. It's all this one is. Building percent fast. And we got the early pick. Yes, yes, yes. And we have the window coming out. Early pick plus ult. It's looking good. Oh, we're, we're ulting again. It doesn't get anything right there, but that's okay. I feel like we didn't need that right there. I feel like we had that with the first pick and the window. Was kind of, you know, allowing Albany to just wait it out. To allow more percentage because the percentage goes so much faster in flashpoint than it does in control so if you wait out a window i'd say the length of a window is probably 10 maybe 15 percent i'd say around 10 percent so i don't think we even needed that flux there but it's okay because we do still have three left i think a huge rock there yep we're gonna we're gonna barrage it's looking good. Our BAP does fall. But he gets the res. We're even. We got that. That's number one. Number one. That's what I like to see from the Emery crew. Let's run it back. We need three more. Three more. They played that very, very well there. And we still have two ults. However, they do have three. They are also playing the Pharah Mercy here. But I trust that Alshmidi... And Ash are the better duos. Gotta have confidence, you know what I'm saying. I'd like to see this fair up POV. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna, gonna get pressured extremely by this soldier. That's gonna be an issue for the duo. Yeah, it's gonna be an issue for the rest of the team as it looks like. Getting taken down. Fortify. And they're gonna pop the hole here. I don't think that, that soldier needed to use the ult, which is good because it's the other team, thank god. Gets taken out with one ult wasted. It's looking good. That's what we like. They're just ringing around the rosing. And hopefully nobody gets picked off here. If somebody gets picked off here, that's kind of scary. Oh my gosh, that was close. Alright, but they did get the reset safely. Three ults online for Albany. One online for the ENH crew. Let me see that Sig. Let me see that Sig POV from Beard. Oh, gets taken out instantly by Katakuna. That's a good trade. I feel like we can res that Bastion. We need the damage. And they do just that. They are at almost 80%. We do need to touch this bad. Look at the protection coming out from Beard. Gets taken out. Drew with great protection. Somebody needs to touch. Somebody has to get on this point here. But I don't know if it's going to happen. We hit the OT. But it's not winnable right there. 1-1. One, one, next flashpoint. Let's go. That was a little tough. That was a little tough. They established the point, they set their positions, and they didn't move from those positions. I feel like that soldier was really one reason why we were kind of, I want to say we were scared to touch the point there. It was, it was kind of, he was putting a lot of pressure 
on our Pharaoh. But if we can ult here, we have four ults. We're getting pretty close to five. I feel like if we ult first to secure this point and go one ult, one by one. Yeah, and that's exactly what Katakuna is doing, but gets taken out, walks right into it. Gets rezzed. That was a good res. I'd like to see the Bastion ult come out right now. Before anybody dies, I feel like we need to ult. Alshman is getting super low. Gets taken out, but Beard gets the trade on the Kiriko, which is a really, really important kill. I think the Emery squad does need to ult here. We did get an ult. We did get a Valkyrie from Ash. The Albany squad looks like they're just waiting it out, being patient. We do have the flux from Beard. This flux has to be huge, as well as this configuration tank. Air missile! And there we go! Perfect kill from Katakuna. And we're going to use the flux, too, to secure this. We did use most of our ults. But I think that's all right. Because we we just capped 50%. Looking for some different positioning here. We just got to stall. We just got to play the time and back them up. Back them up. They do. Their ults are a lot higher than ours right now. They do have a higher percentage. But I feel like if we could just get a first pick, it doesn't matter that much. Here we go. Run, 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 run. Gets taken out. Drew, uh, Alshmiti does get the kill on the Bastion. That's a really good trade. Ash makes the res onto the Bastion. Trying to keep everybody alive as best as she can, but it's not going to happen. It's too much. This is going to be a tough retake. I'm going to be honest. For the Wasps. Uh, because of the Kiriko Kitsune rush. That's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough, especially with the Bastion. If you have Bastion in tank form with the Kitsune rush, it's going to be a little tough. Somebody left the game. We need a pause. Yep. Uh, somebody probably just DC'd for uh, Albany. So. Shoo. This is a doozy for sure. One to one so far in Flashpoint. We're just waiting on somebody from Albany to, to get back in the game. They might have to sub somebody in. I'm not sure actually how that's going to work. They'll probably just have to wait. But uh, what do you do here if you're Emery? I'm not really sure. You know, you have a Kitsune rush on the opposing team as well as a Bastion ult. A lot of zoning, you know. If you're trying to touch point, if you take forever to touch here, if uh, Albany gets to about 80% and it just keeps building up, it's going to be really hard to touch mm -hmm. because of just all the ults that are coming through, especially with the Kitsune rush. That's going to be really hard to walk into. So uh, I don't think we have anything online. I think we almost have a window from Katakuna. Yeah, he's at 99, so that's about all. But they need to win this fight. They have to win this fight if they want to stay alive for sure because they are nearing 50%, and we got the guy back in. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Let's capitalize on the uh, the new player. Let's get in there if you're the Wasps. We're not, we're not playing friendly. We're not playing friendly. Gus looking for a flank route here. The window comes out. We have to get a pick with this window. We have to get something here. Beard trying his best to eat everything. Does a pretty good job. Here comes the Kitsune rush. And they waited out the Bastion ult. If they wait this out, there's a good chance of success. However, the Diva does pick off two important kills. That's three. This point is likely going in the favor of Albany here. Yep. Alt management, it's a pain, but it's it's true. You need it. That's two, one, Albany. Albany needs one more to secure the win for the evening. This Emory crew needs two more points to capture, and I believe they can do it. They're nearing many ults. Compared to just the one Diva Bomb, I feel like the Diva Bomb isn't super important here because this is such a wide open space 
if they launch it on that high ground, just drop down low. There's a big hole in the middle, so it's all right. Easy ways to get down. Nice. Great pick from Alshmitty. Alshmitty, look at that flank right there. It does get taken down. Hopefully, we can get a res there, but that Diva's holding it down pretty good. We do get the cap first, which is great. Diva Bomb coming in. Scram, scram. Good, perfect. Immortality Field is the only thing that died to that. I feel like a Bastion ult would not be too bad right now before he gets taken out. He does get res. Thank goodness. However, Katakuna down to the opposing Bastion. Look at this flank from Alshmitty. Oh, yes. Takes down the Bastion. d the D.Va. Oh, no. The D.Va. The baby D.Va got the Bastion, though. And they res the Bastion. The Bastion. We need to just back out there. We did get 50% there. That's how fast the percentages go in Flashpoint. We ended up getting 62%. Huge there. We just need one retake. With one ult on the other team, if we go fast enough, this Kiriko will not be able to get Katsune Rush. And it'll be a lot easier for us. Especially since we have Flux. Flux is huge here. We almost have sights as well. If it were me, I would I would use my Bastion ult to bait out the Suzu from the Kiriko, flux it, secure the win, and then for the retake, I would use the soldier sights. Here comes the flux, here comes the flux. We're using both ults, here comes Bastion ult. It's so winnable, it's so winnable. Here comes the Kitsune rush. If we can win this, yes, and it's looking likely, if we can win this when they use Kitsune Rush, then that's amazing for the Wasp team. Kitsune Rush is such a hard ult to beat. They are at 90%. We just need to cap, and we did cap. It's one fight left. Alshmitty did hold. Yes, yes, perfect. Huge stagger kill. Alshmitty, we have to stay on him right now. He is our most important player right now. This visor has to be huge to secure this point. I'm so glad he saved that. So we actually have something to work with. And we also have Moira ult with Ash. This is going to be huge for zoning. Mercy is down. Ult's coming out. Here we go. Here we go. The Emory squad picking up the first two picks. OT ticking down. OT ticking down. They are contesting, however. He's going to pop the ult right here. He needs to pop it. He does need to pop it. Does he need to, however? I think he needs to. Ult it, ult it, ult it. There we go. It's looking good. It's looking good. And the Wasp team secures the dub. 2-2. Two, two. One more point. This is as close as it can get, ladies and gentlemen. Map 5, 2-2. Two two. Flashpoint, last one. And he did still hold on to the visor. I was saying use it. But honestly, I think he knew that he was winning that without the visor. For some reason, I'm going to be honest. I thought that was match point. That's why I told him to use it. But I'm glad he saved it there. And we have a lot more ults too. We have a... Uh... Oh yeah, he's, hold on. he's popping sights. Everybody hiding from him. He's going to try to flank this Ana to get the pick does get it with the help of ash going with him on the flank that's great teamwork right there as beard secures the kill on the zarya they did swap to the zarya there because of their success on uh on i want to say king's row no 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 not king's row no 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 it was circuit royale their success on circuit royale with the zarya stopping the emery team early let's see what we can do let's see what we can do we have almost Four ults coming up online, which is great because we just hit the 50% mark. Swapping to the Tracer is Albany. As Zarya coming left side. The bomb's coming in from the enemy bastion. Doesn't kill anybody. Perfect. We're holding our position exactly what we want to see. The B coming out early. Both support ults coming out early from the Wasp team. 
We're hitting 80% and getting picks. This is what we like to see here. This is going to be very, very difficult, if not impossible, for the Albany team to touch right here and do something. He has no idea that he's right behind him. They just have to stall. I don't think anybody's there. And that's game. Listen to that, everybody. That's how you do it. Dubs. First dub of the season. The Wasps go up 1-0 against the University of Albany in the Diamond Masters uh, division of ECAC. I'm extremely satisfied with how they played today. I think they turned it up for sure. After those two losses, they, uh, they knew what they needed to do, and they turned it around, and, yeah, they made it happen. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. My name's Colin, and uh, go Wasps. I'll see you all next time. Peace.